Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We finally did it. We knocked out the 2122 Panini Select Basketball Break. Full caser, 12 boxes, pick your team number two. Big thanks to everybody for getting in on it. Um, all card ship. Yeah, big fan of the Select. A lot of, a lot of fun parallels, tie-dyes, a lot of things to chase. So big thanks to this group for making it happen here on a Thursday, the 27th. So if you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the team random filler we just did in the previous video. And Ed, you ended up with last spot mojo with the Suns before we pulled the remaining teams out for the uh, for the filler. All right, now here there's the box right here, 2022 select basketball, 2122 select basketball. And let's see what we got inside. Get this out of my inventory page too. Gotta keep track of everything here. Go there. And stack some boxes right on top of each other there. All right, so we're looking for three autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. Looking for some zebras, a lot of parallels in there. I guess you can, there's some official Panini NBA NFTs as well. They got it all. They got it all. Good luck, everyone. Hmm. Kind of like that they moved the die the die cut part to the left side because there was always a risk of kind of cutting your thumb a little bit if you if the die goes in the middle. Anyway, something uh, unless you're ripping a lot of boxes, you probably wouldn't you wouldn't even notice. We got the Kings game on in the background. They're up 3-1, Hockey Kings. Ravens are up 27-16 on the Buccaneers. Two minutes left in the fourth. Buccaneers have the ball. Just things just really haven't been clicking for the uh, for Tampa Bay. Uh, I was watching that Mavericks Nets game, switching to basketball. That was pretty exciting. Went to overtime, and then. Um, and the Mavs ended up pulling it out. They pulling it off, twenty nine to one, one twenty nine to one twenty five. That's a final. And then the Thunder beating the Clippers, one eighteen to one ten. Couple games in progress. Grizzlies are leading the Kings, the Sacramento Basketball Kings, at the half, sixty three to fifty six. And then uh, the Heat are at Warriors. Warriors up 63-59 at the end of the first half. Those are your hoops, your sports updates. All right, good luck, everybody. All card ship. And there's a Brent Berry in-flight autograph for the Clippers. That is for Logan and the Clippers. Won that spot in the filler. There's Kayshawn. Kayshawn's here looking for some, some Duarte gold for the Pacers. Ooh, 129 out of 199. Red Cade Cunningham. Nice little color match there. For Detroit, Grant picking up the Pistons straight up. All right, that's a start.
We've got an Evan Mobley rookie card for the Cavs. That'll be for William. Won the Cavs in the, uh, in the filler. There's Wes, I don't know what the Lakers are going to do with him. And there's Nikola Jokic autograph? Wow. A Nikola Jokic auto. Nathan Jones picked up Denver straight up. 35 out of 149. Nice, your MVP. There's an unstoppable Anthony Davis. I wish it were so. I don't know how common these are, but that'll go to the Lakers. That'll be for Michael. We got a Brook Lopez die cut, 165 out of 249. For the Bucks, that'll be for um, Sean, TKO. And we got a Kristaps Porzingis Mavericks edition. That is for Christopher and Dallas. That's right, Rex. Your Joe Jaspi Sports Update brought to you by David Sunflower Seeds. America's favorite seed or whatever it says on the bag. I don't have the bag here anymore. Another Kate Cunningham. Just the base version. Ben Simmons. And Trey Young. Out of 75, lime green. All right, box one in the books. Next box. And I'll do a little uh, relic and autograph recap at the, uh, at the end of this video. I do not. Rex is asking me if I remember back in the day when, when what, it, David Sunflower Seeds, was going to be Jack Link's Sunflower Seeds? Was there some sort of merger in the works? I have to admit, uh, I, I was not following that part of the business world. The snack industry. I mean, it could be, it could be Jack Links for all I know. They might have just kept the David's name. Oh <laughs> yeah, I do remember. Um, I'm blanking on his his name when 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 he's in the room. I'll remember, but but yeah, I think uh, one of our one of our collectors here at Jaspies buys into our breaks. Um, there's Joe Weiskamp, 42 out of 99. We were, we, were, we were talking about how great, you know, Jack Link's um, Joe Weiskamp goes to the Spurs. How much we loved like bacon jerky and stuff like that. It was his wife. His wife like was like an advertising executive or something like that, or marketing director or something like that for Jack Link's. And she, uh, she actually sent us some free stuff. And we like we definitely shouted it out on air. So the advertising part never materialized, but it was nice. We got some stuff. That was nice. Nice Evan Mobley. That's gonna go to the Cavs. That'll be for William with the Cavaliers. By the way, these aren't numbered. Everything ships though, that's why I'm, if you thought they were numbered, they are not. There's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 170 out of 249, Milwaukee Bucks edition. That's for Sean TKO. Not bad, 170 out of 249.
There's Jason Tatum to 299, Trey Young. That's uh, Rob with the Celtics. And a Mike Conley. Piece of his jersey for the Jazz. Logan with his Jazz. I'll randomize his Jazz in the team random. Jazz, for whatever it's worth at this stage of the season, started off the season pretty well. Yeah, they're 4-1 and one to start the season. Good for them. You got a Nikola Jokic, 75. Just dominated my Lakers yesterday. Desmond Bain, burn, burn. Oh, you think darkness is your friend? Bain will go to Kevin and the Grizz and the Nikola Jokic. Along with that autograph, will go to Nathan Jones. All right, another box. Claim Lakers, yeah. Uh, I was I was telling my colleague Jason Jaspi here, who's on Instagram tonight. He's on dinner break right now, but I was just like, should I just adopt another team, just temporary adoption this year, just to save myself the the, the, the time, effort, and energy. Also a Raiders fan, they're two and four. And that's not good, but at least on on the field they look on paper that record doesn't look good, but on the field they looked pretty good. You know, some of those losses were really close. The Lakers, none of those losses looked good. Ooh, Scotty Barnes. There you go, that's nice. Raptors. That's for Rob and the Raptors. Won the Raptors in that filler. 226 out of 249. Yeah. LeBron should be, everyone should be embarrassed. Top, top of the organization, top down. It's Kyle Lowry to 249. The only silver lining, I guess, is the Lakers' defensive efficiency on based on some numbers is maybe top, still top five, I guess. But and that doesn't really make me feel any better. I think their offense is on the opposite side of that list. For Panini Black, pick your team three. Can't purchase any of the teams that are in the number. No, you cannot. They've already been pulled out. Once they're once they're pulled out, they're they're out. Franz Wagner to two ninety nine. That's for Orlando. That's going to go to Walter. And we got Raymond Felton for the Mavs. Piece of his jersey. Going to Christopher. I know, sorry, Nick. That picker team three was up for a few days. We we waited until all the other picker teams that have it was sold out before we even put that into a number block. That's why I encourage everyone, hey, lock in your teams early. Sooner rather than later before they're gone. There's Deron Sharp. Piece of his jersey. Going to uh, going to Brooklyn. That's gonna be for Kevin. Yes, I think we might have one more to post 36 out of 90 after Pick Your Team 3. So if you help help us fill up Pick Your Team 3, we can do it tonight, and I can load up Pick Your Team 4, and then you can get whatever team you wanted to get. All right. 
Another box. No worries, Nick. Let's take a quick look at the standings. Super early in the season. But Bucks are 3 and 0. Cavs are 3 and Cavs, Knicks, Celtics, Wizards, Hawks all 3 and 1. Raptors 3 and 2 on a two-game winning streak. Bulls are 3 and 2. Hornets are 2 and 2. Heat are 2 and 3. Sixers, Pacers, Nets, Pistons are all 1 and 4. And the Orlando Magic are 0 for 0 and 5. I suppose the Nets, Sixers, not having the most ideal start either. My Lakers are 0-4, Kings are 0-3. Rough. On top of the West, the uh, Trailblazers and the Jazz, 4-1. Suns, Pelicans, and Grizzlies, 3-1. That Pelican team is going to be fun to watch. Timberwolves, Spurs, Nuggets, all 3-2. Warriors, Mavs, two and two. Thunder are two and three, as are the Clippers, one and four Rockets. Hundred and twenty eight boxes, twenty four hour stream. No. Do the math, Tradiac. I think it's I think it's like an eight a six hour break. Blank card. That was gonna be a redemption for a second. Got a Jared Allen die cut, 199 out of 249. Yeah, and the Lakers are giving it their all, I guess. There's Blake Griffin, piece of his jersey. Going to the Nets, that's for Kevin. Yeah, it's gonna be a long season for the Lakers. There's a Chris Duarte jersey and auto. There you go. Um, that's where Kayshawn was looking for some Duartes. Here's an RPA. 196 out of 199. Tradiac, are we going to be breaking on trade night? Of course. How are we, how are we gonna pay for the uh, how are we gonna pay for the food that we're providing on trade night? There's Markel Fultz, piece of his jersey, Sixers. That'll be for Taylor. And there's Lonzo Ball, one thirty out of one seventy five. Scotty Barnes, your reigning rookie of the year. I think having a good start to the season, I want to say. Evan Mobley for the Cavs, William. Gilo, what's going on? And what do we got here? Two things here? Artistic selections, Kevin Durant. Is that a, are these shorter printed? And we got another one. Maybe they're not cases. Giannis Antetokounmpo. These cards look really cool, though. That is for the Bucks. That's for Sean TKO. And then Kevin T with the, uh, with the Nets gets the KD. KTKD. Trade cards for food? I don't know if, uh, if, uh, if trading cards are legal tender. I need a trade. I guess I Gila did say trade. I suppose. I don't know how. I don't know how some vet commons or how far they're gonna get us. Maybe a a hot sauce packet. 
maybe a, a common card can get us a hot sauce packet out of from like Taco Bell or something like that. Yeah, our trade night, if you're local, ladies and gentlemen, our trade night, Friday, November 4th. So a week after tomorrow, eight days. Tomorrow's Friday, so it's the next Friday after that. First Friday of the month. Keep an eye on your email blast, social media. There'll be more details all about that trade night as we get closer and closer to that day. There's uh, AD to 129 for, for my Lakers, Michael Osia. DeMar DeRozan, piece of his jersey going to Michael and the Bulls. Anthony Davis apparently carrying some uh, a back issue I can't wait for uh, for the report to come out that he'll be missing the next two months because of that back issue looking forward to that Steph Curry to 299 and then there's Keldon Johnson zebra nice no the Joe meet and greets for free Gilo Come on now. We try to we try to be of the people, especially in, a, in in public settings. Keldon Johnson will be for the Spurs. Uh, that'll be for Justin. And the Steph Curry will be for Sean Maddock and the Warriors. A couple different Sean's in this break. Ooh, and a silver Cade Cunningham. Silver Cade. Silvercade, it's big card time in the city. Uh, that's for Grant Pistons, Cade Cunningham, silver and premier level. Which I think maybe, I don't know the levels. A notch or two above the, the more common level. And a Pacer Relic, Roy Hibbert. That's gonna go to. It's gonna go to Keishan and the Pacers. Out of Jaden Springer, that's Cameron Thomas, ninety-five out of one ninety-nine. Sixers, that'll be for Taylor. You'd be surprised at how some of the how much some of these parallels will go for, just like the non-hit parallels will go for on the secondary market. And we've got we got Anthony Davis, two color patch and autograph. Come on, Anthony Davis. Stay healthy. Seven out of ten. It's a nice card, Michael with the Lakers. Yeah, no, I, I, I got to be good, good with Gilo. Gilo is like, careful handing that AD card. I might break him. I mean, Anthony Davis' stock may be low, low now, but... But overall... By all accounts, Anthony Davis is a really nice guy. <laughs> good dude. Great bat... Could be a top five basketball player if healthy, but it, he by the end of his career it, it may just go down as as what could have been. I think I think through and it does, it's not like he's there's been some injuries that are unlucky. Maybe some injuries are just 
genetics. You know, it, it seems like he's, you know, it's not like he's overweight or anything like that. By all accounts, he worked hard in practice. Good guy. Smart dude. Not very controversial, I think. But by the end of his career, it'll just go down as that guy's body betrayed him. And it was just a what could have been. Silver LeBron James. I don't think these scope parallels are numbered, they're not. Nor are these. And we've got a CJ McCollum Portland edition that goes to John Samuelson and the Trailblazers. Right, good brow upkeep for AD. Yeah, he's got all that. There's Westbrook, thirteen out of two ninety-nine. And there's Franz Wagner, gold die cut. Nice, Orlando. That's for Walter and the Magic. A lot of youngsters. I don't think the Magic are over five, but. I feel like they got a lot of youngsters on that team. If it all just clicks, you know, they could be a really fun team to watch. I mean, you got to feel bad for what Russell Westbrook at some point as well. I mean, not only does he get put on a team that's just a terrible fit for him, you know, coupled with some, coupled with you know, just naturally diminishing skills due to age and put all that together. Bad recipe. There's a Cade Cunningham. And here's a nice silver Josh Giddy. This is the kind of stuff we're looking for. Jose with OKC. Nice. That is concourse level. I think that's the most common one, but it's just still nice. Got Danilo Gallinari, big piece of his jersey, a little throwback relic. For Denver, that will be for Nathan. It's Darius Baisley, 64 out of 65. Die cut for the Thunder, that's a fun team to watch as well. And we got Ayo Dusunmu, 239 out of 249. Dusunmu, the, the villain at the end of the first Doctor Strange. Dusunmu, I've come to make a bargain. I think it's Dormammu, but I think it's close enough. All right, onwards. We are halfway through the break. Got about another oh, 30 minutes to go, 25, 30 minutes to go.
card's a little slippery this year. I think there's also just a a natural, or a, maybe an unnatural, but there's like a bow to some of those, some of these cards, so it makes them slide around a little bit. So whenever you have a chance to open your own boxes, just keep that in mind. Here's more AD. What happened, Gilo? No, no OKC game televised in Kansas City anymore? There's Mitchell Robinson. Oh, Bally's killed the sports market. Yeah, what's this what's the latest on that? It's Mitchell Robinson, 65 and 65 die cut for the Knicks. That will be for uh, who's got New York? That's gonna be for Brian. Another nice uh, Josh Giddy here for OKC. That'll be for Jose. And for Jose and OKC, Jeremiah Robinson Earl refractor autograph. Right, <laughs> Ryan. Ryan's like, you know how we know these patches aren't game worn? Do they say they're game worn? It says game worn. I mean, he is kind of a big dude. It could make those those pieces really small. I think you're locked into this Bally deal for four to five years. All you got is football. Well, so why are they not broadcasting basketball or, or you, you're stuck with baseball? Or they, they can't see Royals too, right? This reminds me of the, uh, the Time Warner Spectrum slash Spectrum situation here in LA. It was Time Warner at the time And they, there was the Lakers basketball network that they paid like a zillion dollars for. I don't know where that money went, but to Rob Palenka, I guess. But ooh, and an Evan Mobley oh, jersey. I was gonna see some ink. Still nice, William Cavs. But um, so it's one of the big cable TV, one of the big TV providers here in Los Angeles. Uh, Time Warner and other places. Well, Spectrum now, if you have. But uh, ultimately, there was a Lakers network. They paid a lot of money for it. The network paid a lot of money for it and then proceeded to shove it down the throats of like DirecTV and Dish and the other networks and a lot of hot, a lot of big fees and blah, 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 blah. A number of years later, the network, the TV network, paid a bunch of money for the Dodgers network and tried to do the same thing to DirecTV. And then DirecTV... I guess is the other big pay major provider here outside of Time Warner, maybe even the biggest. We're like, uh, no, we don't want to pay that extra stuff. We don't want to pay that, and we don't want to pass it on to our consumers. So it only so Dodgers games only ended up staying on on um, on Spectrum slash Time Warner, which is only like sixty percent of the markets. So, I mean, LA is a big city, so 40% is a lot. A lot of people who weren't getting Dodger games. And um, it even went through Vince Scully's lab. I mean, I thought, man, if there's ever time to get a deal done for TV, is Vince Scully's last year. And it didn't happen. Now you got, you've probably got a lot of people just getting used to illegally streaming those games or using MLB.TV and then VPNing their way around the local blackouts and... It's pretty ugly, but that, that's been happening a lot around the country, different different markets and stuff like that. Well, you wish you could go back to when you could watch regular games on regular TV all the time? Well, you couldn't. You were just forced to watch whatever your local market was. You would rarely see anybody outside of your your local city. But it's kind of weird because now that there's more MLB network and more cable TV, you can actually watch more teams than you could have before. Say in the 80s or 90s. 
But when local TV deals are restructured, it's kind of crazy these days when, when guys like Gilo can't watch his Kansas City Royals on local television unless you have a certain cable provider, TV provider. So it's gotten all wacky. It's Jared Butler to 249. I think what's crazy, oh, throwback LeBron James. Miami Heat. That'll be for Logan and the Heat. But now, then they started, then you got an expansion of like being able to watch a lot of games in different spots and then and then I guess what's happening nowadays, I guess like the Apple exclusives and the Amazon exclusives, like tonight's NFL game. I mean, unless you're, you know, unless you're of a certain age and you're used to all these different streaming services, there's, there's a whole other side of the population who are like, what the hell? I have to download what? I mean, it, it is a hassle. There's Greg Brown the third, 86 out of 99. Trailblazer, that's for John Tamlinson. You know, I got to be a Prime member. I guess a lot of people are, but some a lot of people aren't. Got to be a Prime member. Got to do all that. Got down an Apple TV. You know, you you want to pay like they up the price on that too. I think it's like twelve bucks a month or something like that. So you telling me I got to pay that just to see some Friday night baseball? With, you know, subpar broadcasting quality. This guy's supposed to be pretty good too, right? Premier level Jalen Green. Ooh, and a Josh Giddy relic. So, it's the sports media landscape. <laughs> you know, like, we're trading, like, the, the we have the option to pretty much watch every single game. It wasn't, I mean, back in the day, it was just, I mean, pre-cable is probably even worse. But with cable, at least TBS gave you national, you could see Braves games nationally, even out here in Los Angeles, if you have cable. And then WGN, you'd be able to see the Cubs. And then your local TV network would broadcast, would usually broadcast the uh, your local teams. And then after that, otherwise, unless you're watching a Cubs or Braves game, it was hard to see other games. That's why SportsCenter was essential. And newspapers, pre-internet. What happened there, you know? But then cable TV, I think like Fox and like Prime Ticket and stuff like that, which eventually turned into Bally's. Started buying up sports rights, TV rights. That got a little tricky. ESPN got into the broadcasting of games deal in the, I guess pretty quickly after once, once. The Thursday Night Football the song? Night Football song. Honestly, I don't know what it is because no oh, audio, yeah, okay, no, no, so I've never, I've never heard it before. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Which is kind of weird because I, yeah. Yeah, they still have commercials, so which might impact the 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 uh, the streaming copyright stuff for stream. So I'm I. You usually end up watching those games on silent. It's Karis LeVert, 24 out of 99. Jersey and autograph, another one. There you go. Kayshawn got the, uh, got it straight up, right? Yeah, got the Pacers straight up. I appreciate that. Oh man, Gilo's Bally's KC deal is actually six to eight years. It's Miles McBride to 175.
Gilo, can you can you change? That's I mean that's what the companies want you to do. But can you change your your television service provider to to get the Bally deal? I mean, someone's got to be broadcasting those other games, right? But you got to be on one network or over another. Here's a Miles McBride jersey and autograph. 18 out of 99 for the Knicks. That's for Brian. I mean, I guess that's what happened with LA. All the DirecTV people who couldn't watch the Dodgers were like, well, you can choose. You can stay with the stay with DirecTV or you can go to Time Warner slash Spectrum and get your Dodgers. 64 out of 99. Gotcha. Bally only exists on AT&T here and you're a cord cutter. Right. I think like, I want to say like, live sports has got to be, still has to be one of the few things that are, that are keeping these big companies like going. Yeah, you know, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for sports, Sheila, like, I would have, I probably would have cut the cord ages ago. I still might actually not think about it because how often am I home to watch night games at the Dom? I'm usually here on most nights and I can watch and now the direct TV, we have direct TV here at work and now, now that, now that the Dodgers are on the, on, uh, are on direct TV, I could watch the Dodgers here. I'm here most of the time at night. And I could figure out how to watch a game on the two days that I'm not here. Our Cuban needs to start a sports streaming service. You've subscribed instantly. I mean, I, it's, it's, so, it's so crazy to try to wrap your head around all the licensing deals. Like, Mark Cuban, like, he would have to, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how he would do it. Now, especially now with all the other players involved. Got a little chilly here. Um, so Mark Cuban would have to convince, you know, Apple to give up some rights to base. Can, I, can, we, can he broadcast those Apple games? Can he broadcast time Thursday night football games? And it's Apple might buy uh, DirecTV's giving up the Sunday ticket package, so that's up for up for bidding. So within a couple of years, DirecTV is not going to have Sunday ticket. I think they might still have. I think they might still keep Red Zone. But yeah, Sun if Sunday Ticket can get sold to Apple, and then you'd you'd have to you'd have to subscribe to you'd have to subscribe to Apple TV to watch NFL games the way you did with Sunday Ticket. There's Isaiah Jackson, lime green, and I'm only scratching. I'm, I'm a you know I'm not not an expert on this. I'm just we're only very casually talking about there's so many different layers and licensing and all that stuff that makes it difficult to become um oh that's for uh Kayshawn, by the way so it's not like mark cuban can just can just pop in and be like i want to i want to start streaming stuff look at the amount of money that companies like amazon and apple and direct tv and spectrum have paid for broadcasting rights ESPN, ABC, NBC, you know, CBS, Fox. Got Cam Thomas, 11 out of 99, jersey and autograph. Kevin T with the Nets. Yeah, I feel like pharmaceutical, Mark Cuban has his own drug company, I feel like pharmaceuticals. It's probably less complicated than uh, 
than uh, TV rights. I mean, those, those contracts must be insane. Because, like, over the air rights are different from streaming rights, which are different from, you know, replay rights to. Franz Wagner, piece of his jersey for Orlando. Walter. Fifty-five out of ninety-nine. Ooh, and a silver Evan Mobley concourse edition. William with the Cavs won that team in the filler. I'm getting some Evan Mobley cards here and there. Jalen Johnson, fourteen out of ninety-nine. Paul, Cade Cunningham, Isaiah Livers, CJ McCollum. All right, two boxes to go. Well, I'm trying to think. How would Cuban? How would Mark Cuban do it? Like, what is Mark Cuban doing nowadays? Is he just doing a Shark Tank sort of thing? Is he just doing TV shows and running Dallas Mavericks and investing money? Zach Levine, 8 out of 99, piece of his jersey for Michael and the Bulls. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's like those, those TV licensing deals can get pretty long. There's Luka Doncic, 139 to 175 for Christopher in Dallas. There's Zion to 249. I mean, if Mark Cuban wants to do a streaming service, he'd have to, there'd have to be like, I mean, the, the, the question is, why do you want to stream, stream a, a game? It's for the advertising money. I mean, I don't know if Mark Cuban has the infrastructure. I mean, I'm sure he has friends that do, but does he have the infrastructure to, to build something completely from scratch? You know, I think Amazon had bought Twitch and kind of probably learned a lot from there and already had Prime Video. They're streaming video from there, so they had the infrastructure to to broadcast something live. And so, and for Amazon, Stephen Adams going to the Grizzlies, by the way, Kevin. So for Amazon, like, they're like, and, you know, if that drives more people to Amazon Prime memberships and buy more stuff, that's good for us. Apple is the same way. Hey, if we get more people in the to subscribe to Apple TV, get them to buy Apple product and buy the Apple apps and pay money within the Apple app worlds and all that sort of stuff, there you go. 
you know, what they're paying for to broadcast some baseball games and some soccer games, MLS, is not that it's not that big. Ooh, Hakeem Olajuwon, he's big. Sean TKO, Houston. Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon, 11 out of 149. I don't remember him too often with goggles, but there he is, going goggles right there. I like that. All right, last box coming up. Why does ESPN do it? You know, they, I mean, they're in the business of, of reporting on sports and talking about sports and let's broadcast live sports. And then you can listen to us talk about sports and do interviews and all that sort of stuff and the advertising money. So yeah, I guess I'm, I'm trying to think, think it out. If like you know, if Cuban wants that to happen, he'd have to start a streaming service from scratch, basically. And I don't know if he wants to do that because <laughs> you already there's just so much competition in that space already. Same with Elon. Like, unless I mean, he's got Twitter now. Unless actually, <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. Um, if he wants to do something, like see Elon has the platform for it. I, I can see Musk doing it before, before Cuban. Because now Elon has Twitter now. It's, it's, pri it's a private company again. And so if he decided, hey, I want to stream sports through Twitter. I mean, there's already a platform there where Video and Twitter Live is kind of sort of a thing. So like there is that sort of technology kind of baked in there somewhere in the code. I don't know codes, but it's baked in there somewhere. So that's probably more of an infrastructure to kind of build something out like that. Thursday Night Football on Twitter. You know, here's Sunday Night Baseball on Twitter. There's Anthony Hardaway, 11 out of 25. Tie-dye autograph. Nice. Orlando Magic. Walter. With a blast from the past. 11 out of 25. Unstoppable. Kevin Durant. And there's Ricky Rubio, gold. Cleveland, this is for you. William with the Cavs. Eight out of 10. Got a Zach Levine, two out of 99. Is it two? 82 out of 99. Kind of looked like a zero. Bulls, Michael Kramer with Chicago. This is my kind of town, Chicago is. Luka Doncic, 003 out of 199, Dallas. Christopher. I'll save that Jalen Green, too. Ooh, nice. Cade Cunningham to 299. 164 out of 299, Concourse Edition. Parallels are always nice. We'll take them. Grant with the Pistons. Really nice. And a silver Josh Giddy. That's nice too. Jose with OKC. And the last bits here. Is there a die cut in there? Yep, it's a Chris Paul die cut. 75 out of 175. Ed with the Suns, and that, my friends, is that. That was 21-22 Panini Select Basketball Hobby Edition, 12 box, pick your team number two. Here's a recap, recapping some parallels of the nice rookies, the relics, the autos. 
Thanks for hanging with me, conversing with me throughout a long break. And I hope everyone keeps uh, joining our basketball breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And, uh, and we'll continue to rip open boxes and talk hoops and sports and all sorts of stuff all season long. Scotty Barnes. So, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Nikola Jokic. Red Kate Cunningham. There you go. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.